All right, let's take just a moment to address this annoying little issue right here. This is activation required mode. If we go ahead and slide to unlock, you'll see here we are back at the beginning screen. Um, if we select next, it gives us this little message right here that says only compatible SIM cards and a supported carrier may be used by <clears throat> used to activate iPhone. So essentially what Apple has done is they put in an automatic activation process which requires you to reactivate SIM cards that are uh, not supported. Um, now when you're doing a third party unlock obviously you're using an unsupported carrier so it may still kick you back to here and this can kind of be annoying at times. Also if you look up at the top it says T-Mobile like I'm connected but I get zero bars of service so what we got to do first off is we got to get out of activation required mode. Now typically the easiest way to do that would just be to pop out the SIM card like so and then it will take you back to the home screen. It may have you go through the activation process once it's out. If it's a CDMA phone, you don't actually have to have a, a SIM card in there to activate it. You just tell it to activate and it will. If it's a GSM, um, if it doesn't allow you to come back to the home screen, you may have to pop in an AT&T SIM card in order to activate it or try shutting the phone down and turning it back on and see if that works. Um, but anyway, so you gotta get out of there first. Um, there's two different solutions that we can uh, use in order to bypass this. The first one is uh, actually just selecting the voice memos. Um, from the voice memos, I'll always just hit record. So then you've got this red banner up here at the top and if it kicks you back, you can hit the red banner which will bring you back to your voice memos and home button out. Now the problem with that one is sometimes afterwards you'll come back to the home screen and it'll still you only get one bar of service. So in that case, you shut off the phone. First off, take out your SIM card. Shut off the phone, turn your phone back on. When, once your phone turns back on, you're going to uh, go into here, select voice memos, uh, start recording while it searches, and then just leave it. Um, it shouldn't kick you back into activation required mode, but sometimes it, some phones are, are really sensitive to other sims, and it'll kick you back multiple times, and it can get really frustrating. I've seen it happen. Other times, you have iPhones that never try to kick you back into, into activation required mode, so it just all depends. But um, anyways, I'm going to show you a more per permanent solution um, to the problem. It's actually using this little program right here, Sam Preferences. Some of you guys may recognize that. There was for about a week's time, we were all in it. Uh, we were all able to unlock any iPhone um, for any GSM network using this SAM preferences. Um, obviously, we can't use it for that anymore. Apple did patch that as soon as they figured it out. It only lasted for about a week or so. Um, but anyways, in order to download this, and the great thing about this program is it's a uh, artificial um, SIM module. So it overrides your phone's activation mode. So by installing this, you are going to override that whole activation process and it'll never kick you back into it again. Um, the way that you install it is by going into Cydia and then selecting Manage and then click, click Sources, Edit, Add, and then the source that you add is repo, R-E-P-O dot Bingner, B-I-N, G N E R. Make sure you get both ends in there. It's B I N G N E R dot com, and then hit next. Uh, when you're installing this, actually, this this just uh, updates the source to your Cydia. Um, but when you actually install the re the SAM repo, um, you want to make sure to pop your SIM card out of the phone, or I'll show you what happens. Um, okay, so then we got to find Bingner right here. Select SAM preferences. I've already got it installed, but we'll reinstall it and I'll pop in my SIM card so I can show you what happens if you don't pop your SIM out. It'll get to about right here. And, uh, oh, wait, it didn't do it. Anyways, um, so what it'll do sometimes is actually kick you right back into activation required mode, which is kind of annoying. And then you got to go in and respring, select respring again through Cydia once you get back out of activation required mode. Uh, but anyway, so once this resprings, you'll have the SAM preferences little icon that looks like a SIM card over here, and your phone will never try and kick back into there again. Now, I have noticed that uh, some R SIMs that I have used have interfered with what the SAM preferences does to your phone, causing it so that you only get uh, one signal bar and T-Mobile or whatever service won't actually show up. So if that's the case and you're not able to get any service through that, you may just have to do it the old-fashioned way and go through uh, voice memos. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, so at this point, now that, uh, now that that's in place, now we can go ahead and um, select, let's see, getting a little lost here. Now we can go in, select the original carrier, and then just wait for it to find service. And it usually takes about a minute to a minute and a half. Um, 
So anyways, hopefully that helps you guys. If you are still having issues with this, please contact me and let me know. Um, but yeah, thanks guys.